Hey guys, let's do this. Let's go over this review. Again, just so you know, this is not as short as your quiz will be. Your quiz will be a lot longer. This is just to cover the major topics that you will see on that quiz. So, inequalities, how to solve and graph them. Well, when you solve, you're pretty much solving the same way you would solve any other equation. There's just a different symbol. So we're going to subtract our 5x from both sides and subtract our 3 from both sides. That'll give us a negative 3x is less than or equal to 6. But when you divide both sides by the negative 3, you must remember to change the direction of the sign. Whenever you are multiplying or dividing by a negative, you must change the sign. So this says x is greater than or equal to a negative 2. That's going to be a solid dot above pointing to the right, and that's it. You are done with that example. The next one, we have an AND statement. So we are solving, so we're just going to subtract 3 from all three sides, giving us a negative 1 is less than or equal to x, which is less than 8. So we have our negative 1, we have an 8. Uh, that says x is greater than or equal to a negative 1, so that's a solid dot, and to the right. The x is less than 8, that's an open circle above the 8 and to the left, and and is only where you have overlap or satisfying both constraints, so there you go with a little barbell over the middle. And that's it. Number 3 is an or statement. Um, so we solve each piece individually, so we have 2x is less than or equal to a negative 2, so x is less than or equal to a negative 1. Or, we have our negative x is less than or equal to negative 7, divide by the negative 1, and x will be greater than or equal to a positive 7. So we have our negative 1, we have our 7, and we have a less than or equal to negative 1. We have a greater than or equal to 7. And that is exactly what an or statement is supposed to look like. So you are done. There is no third tier. Number 4, we have an and statement. So we are going to say that x is less than or equal to 2. And divide by the negative 3. That's going to give us x is less than or equal to 5. So this is a special case because they are both pointing in the same direction. So we have x is less than or equal to 2, and we have x is less than or equal to 5. Now remember, and is more specific. It must satisfy both constraints. So if you were to pick 4, it's less than or equal to 5, but it's not less than or equal to 2. So since and is more specific, you go with the shorter one for your third tier. Okay, so that's it for um, solving and graphing inequalities. Next is absolute value. We have a couple of different things to do with absolute value. First is just solving a basic equation. So to do that, you need to get the absolute value part by itself. So the first thing you do is subtract 1 from both sides. And then you divide both sides by 3. And now what you do is you take the inside, you set it equal to 6, you take the inside again and set it equal to the opposite, so negative 6. That's going to give you 2x is equal to 2, so x is equal to 1. And this one's going to give you 2x is equal to a negative 10, so x is equal to a negative 5. And since this is just an absolute value equation, this is not where we're going to graph. So we're done. x is equal to 1 or negative 5. Number 6, same kind of thing. 3 minus 2x is equal to um, a negative 4. And if you're slick, you will stop right now. There's no need to go any further, and that's because absolute value is always equal to a positive number. It's never equal to a negative number. So that's just something to keep in mind. If you notice that with absolute value right away, um, you can say there's no solution. Last two problems, absolute value inequalities. So absolute value inequalities are going to be either an and or an or statement. Remember, we have greater and less than. So to do this one, we would just set the inside, 4x plus 2, greater than or equal to 6, greater, 
4x plus 2 is less than or equal to a negative 6. Now you solve both pieces. So 4x is greater than or equal to 4. So x is greater than or equal to 1. Or 4x is less than or equal to a negative 8. So x is less than or equal to a negative 2. Um, so you go right ahead and graph. We have our 1 and our negative 2. We have our solid circle to the left on the negative 2, solid circle to the right on the 1, and we are done. That's it. It is an OR statement. That's what it's supposed to look like. Last example is a less than statement. First, you have to get the absolute value by itself. So this is less than 10. And now we can split. x plus 3 is less than 10, and x plus 3 is greater than a negative 10. So x is less than 7, but x is greater than a negative 13. So again, we have our negative 13 and our 7. Open circle above the negative 13 to the right. Open circle above the 7 to the left. And statements are only where you have overlap or both constraints being satisfied. So therefore, you have your third tier, which is just an and statement barbell. And that's it for this review. I hope this was helpful. This is Longo and I'm out. See you bye. Say see you bye, guys. See you bye, guys.